I work at King's as a consultant orthopaedic trauma surgeon and what we do is we work as a team to treat the patient when they come into the hospital via the, via the, uh, the ambulance or the air ambulance service. We then resuscitate them as in try and give them blood transfusions and do other interventions and then my role is to treat their orthopaedic injuries which is commonly significant fractures, broken bones of their arms, legs, pelvis etc. You need to understand the physics, so how did the fracture happen, so that when you're doing the operation you reverse the mechanics of that, so you can put the jigsaw back together, as in the broken bone back together, and make it look like it was meant to look. You also need to know your anatomy really well, so you can avoid blood vessels and nerves, or actively look for them and protect them if necessary. On occasions you may need to be repair those structures if they're damaged as well. I've been fortunate in having a significant amount of training from really eminent surgeons at both major trauma centres here in the UK and abroad. That's allowed me to approach these operations in a very logical uh, manner and with that you need to take great care when actually doing the surgery as well in order to minimise the risks of infection, bleeding, wound breakdown and the bones not healing, all of which are very high in a critically injured patient.